everyone to Castaway Camping for what is episode numero uno. I've been waiting to make this channel for a long time. I'm I'm really stoked. I'm really stoked that it's happened. I'm not even kidding. I thought with the recent move up to Cairns in far north Queensland, there's not really any better time than that. I quit stuffing around, pulled my finger out, and here we are. We're doing the YouTube thing right now. In this channel, I'm gonna to aim to cover all things camping and outdoors, all kinds of trips from camping in my Land Rover through to sleeping in my tinny on the Great Barrier Reef to hiking and fishing missions, day trips. We're gonna do it all. I'm hoping to bring some inspiration and some ideas uh, on trips that you could do anywhere from easy weekenders right through to wild off the grid missions um, and of course a lot on gathering and cooking your own food. So when I filmed the shots for this particular video we were in the midst of COVID-19 there was a restriction stipulating that you couldn't do overnight stays anywhere. You might be thinking you're crazy, you're stupid, why are you starting a YouTube channel on camping and outdoors when you could do neither of those things? And to that I say, no, I think it's a great time. We're all indoors, wishing we were outdoors. Hopefully I can give a little bit of inspiration for you to get out there and start easing back into your fun outdoor activities. So yes, for now, with the way things are, uh, the first video for Castaway Camping is in fact going to be a day trip to the Great Barrier Reef. Without further ado, let's get right into this video. The main purpose in this video was to get my partner Maddie out on the reef um, to christen her brand new spear gun. She's really been itching to get out there and use it, so the main aim for the day was to get out there and get something on the end of that spear. We got out there, had a great time, and we came back with a lovely esky full of fish to show for it. Of course, I'm also going to run over how we cooked those at the end of this video, so let's get into it. We were greeted by pretty good conditions when we got out there, and while the sun was too low to spear, we set to having a bit of a line fish. Maddie wasted no time ripping a few lips and sending a few little tackers to the moon. And when we finally got into the water, we had pretty good visibility for the day. It was clear that I wasn't on my game straight away though, as I swim over the top of this beautiful legend. And... Oh, that's a coral trout I'm about to spook. See you later, mate. No crispy skin trout for me tonight. That was, at least until I rounded this bommie here. It's hard to see, but staring me down in that crack is a passion fruit trout. As you can see, a rubbish shot, but in being gentle, the fish was secured and I was over the moon. This is my first ever passion fruit trout. At 50 centimeters, a pretty perfect size for the table. That wasn't going to be the only first for the day though. On the next dive, I spotted this big icy broom. Not the biggest fish for them, but they are fantastic on the plate. Some of us though, weren't having such good luck. That's the sound of somebody who's just lost a football or trout. But we found some amazing swim throughs later and all was good. Trout, over here. I just spotted this tasty little morsel staring up the bommie at me, only his face and fins visible. It was pretty hard to see and Maddie hadn't seen him, but I promised that if she took the dive, she'd see him as she went down. Unfortunately, the trout had other plans and by this point, he had buried himself pretty deep in that crack that I'm pointing to. So close to that gun being christened, but no cigar just yet. I took a dive next up to see if he was still hanging about. In typical trout fashion, he hadn't gone too far. Thank you. 
None of these were trophy fish so far, but we were starting to rack up some good numbers of delicious table fish. Just at the top of screen, Maddie's seen a trout. We've been waiting all day for this. She lines it up and takes a shot. Finally, she's nailed it. I've swum down for a second shot. We, that's how much we wanted it. A 51 centimeter trout, Chris and the gun. Mission complete. On the way back to the boat to conclude the day, I've noticed a little bonus sitting on the sand. Being directly above him here, I didn't quite fancy that shot, but I followed him and just waited for him to turn. Two goals ticked off. Maddie's first fish with a new gun and my first ever passion fruit trout. I'm no chef, so please take this stuff with a grain of salt if you are one, but hopefully I can show you some ways that I really like to cook seafood and hopefully you get a few new recipes out of it. the most of the good weather yesterday, popped out to the reef and we got what we came for, these beautiful passion fruit trout. Pretty keen to do these up tonight, crispy skin, trout go really really well with the skin on I find and it's good to do like an Asian style recipe with some shallots, salt and chilli on the skin and then get it up nice and crispy. I feel like it really brings out a bit of flavour in them. With these guys, they have, only have tiny little scales, and that's the same with um, common coral trout or bar cheeks, any of them as well. So if you want, if you've got really, really hot oil, you can just fry it with the scales on. They'll come up like a little chip, um, except it is good to scale it as well, so it's up to you. And you set up. Just using the back side of the knife, you can get proper scalers and that sort of thing, um, but I don't always scale fish, I find the back of the knife works fine, especially for things like trout which have got these tiny little scales as you can see, like I'll pick some of these up, I don't know if you can see that. One thing I love to do with coral trout and a lot of your big reef fish as well is um, make the most of it don't waste them. Um, a lot of people would leave it at that and sort of throw that out, but the wings on those things are absolutely delicious and with heaps of your other reefies as well. So we'll whack these off now and take a lot of that belly flap with it because there's a lot of nice sort of fatty, uh, good stuff down there that's not to be wasted. First of all, you want to finely chop some chilli, garlic and shallots and fry them up. Take your boned and scaled fillets, chop them into nice little bite sized pieces, sprinkle some rice flour and some salt on the skin and rub it in. Those two ingredients really help your skin come up nice and crispy when you fry it and they've been a bit of a game changer for me lately. Next do up some Asian greens with some ginger, garlic, oyster sauce and fish sauce. Serve with some rice and voila. So that's video number one done for me. I guess this is where I tell people to like, comment and subscribe and all that sort of stuff. And hey, I'm brand new to this YouTube bizzo, so anything you liked, let me know. Any advice, tips, send them my way and I will see you on the next one.